Hey there, it's Jenny from Southern Savers. I just got home from Publix. I told you guys I would do a video this week, so here it is. And I decided to just share some of the highlights this week. We actually bought a lot. Um, so I figured maybe just the key things that you wouldn't wanna miss, because trying to go through everything that we grabbed would make for a very long video. So I'm gonna just turn it around and show you um, everything that, these are like my highlight deals that I wouldn't really miss and we'll go through each one of them. And there are probably some others. This is just what we purchased. Um, and I, well, I will say there are definitely some others on the list because obviously we don't all use everything that's on sale. So these are the things that we will use, but things that were also just crazy good deals this week. So to dive in, let's just start right here because cheese, like the whole cheese section, it feels like they're all buy one, get one. There's a lot of fancy cheeses this week um, in the deli section cheese case that are all buy one, get one. We went with um, fresh shaved Parmesan because we like to make our own homemade Alfredo sauce. So these are buy one, get one, and they make for amazing homemade Alfredo sauce. Sargento shredded is buy one, get one, and we have a $1 off two or a 65 cent off two. This was an old insert. It's the 131 inserts, and it's actually set to expire this weekend. So don't miss that. A buy one, get one, and the $1 off two. Some of you have, a again, a 65 cent off two, but great with the buy one, get one sale. Um, and then we have, whoa, I had a feeling it was going to die there. Um, let's see. Um, so Tillamook and Cabot are buy one, get one as well. Um, and with Tillamook and Cabot, there are no coupons there. It's just buy one, get one um, black cheese. Uh, and for us, my husband and I have both gone back on keto. So uh, this is like our keto corner, basically. Um, but it's a good week to stock up on cheese. And definitely for those fancy cheeses, that's all for Easter. We always get those for Easter and Christmas. So tuck them away. Cheese is actually good for a really long time in the fridge if you don't need them this week. Um, in terms of produce, I mentioned Monday night on our Q&A, it's rare for us to buy anything other than fruit since we get everything from a co-op, but I did go ahead and grab some lettuce. We've gone through our lettuce lately. Um, now that we are back on keto, you get a lot of greens and not a lot of other things, so we're kind of turning through it. Fresh Express um, mixes and chopped mixes are all BOGO right now. Uh, and again, guys, these deals started today. They'll start tomorrow in Florida, in case you're curious. Um, now, Halo Clementines, not really a huge sale here. The reason I grabbed them was Kroger. Kroger was my reason. Um, so Kroger regularly sends coupons in the mail to folks that are near them. And in my Kroger coupons, there was a store coupon for $1 off of mandarin oranges. So glad to use that somewhere else. That is my favorite go-to. I never use my Kroger coupons at Kroger, just use it at Publix. They are on sale this week, $1 off as well. So that got me $2 off of a bag of mandarin oranges. And while we're on that, let me swing over here. Uh, the last thing that I need is eggs. We have like 20 plus chickens in the side yard, but Kroger did send me a Kroger coupon for a dozen Kroger eggs for free. So if you get these, you do not have to use them in Kroger. Just buy the Publix brand and use that Kroger coupon and you're good to go. So that is exactly what I did using my Kroger coupon to pay for my Publix eggs. Very thankful for Kroger and sending me coupons. And these actually will get used. We're doing a camp out this weekend with um, some of our American Heritage girlfriends and we are in charge of providing all the eggs, but we've been eating a lot of our own eggs. So gives me another little bit. And yes, Susan, Publix does accept Kroger store coupons. So if you're in the area and you get your Kroger coupons, take them to Publix. They'll accept any competitor grocery store coupon. So pretty sweet. And a huge thanks to Kroger for helping us out there with um, some deals. So we've got two salad dressing deals this week, Ken's salad dressing and Marzetti salad dressing. So Ken specifically, you wanna get the Simply Vinaigrette. They're buy one, get one at $3.50 basically. So that's $1.75 a salad dressing. And you have a $1 off insert coupon. I don't remember what insert, I think it was like $2.28. $1 off insert and a 75 cent Ibotta. So on that one, you have a $1.75 salad dressing and you have $1.75 in coupon. So completely free, Ken's Simply Vinaigrette. Now the regular Ken's, there's still some coupons there, but not gonna come out to be free. So you can tell I focused just on these. And, and guys, in case you're curious, these make amazing marinades. So it's rare that we ever use them for salad dressings. We use them for marinades. Um, and definitely this one in the back, the garlic and basil, 
crazy good to go on chicken. So both of those, um, that's kind of our go-to for marinades. Super easy and I don't have to even think about spices and they're free. Now Marzetti, this is in the refrigerated section of the produce department. They are also buy and get one this week at um, I think $3.59, so like $1.72, $1.74. Uh, and we have a $1 Ibotta, so you're gonna end up paying 75 cents for these. Um, and anyone else that's doing keto, both of those are less than a carb. So yay for us as we're focusing on that right now. But they are delicious salad dressings for 75 cents. So two different salad dressing deals. Um, cereal, there's always a BOGO cereal. And with um, General Mills, we've always got coupons. So just a reminder, grab your coupons, grab your BOGO. Uh, it does make for a decent price. You're gonna end up paying about $1.80 for each of these. And I know that that's high, but in terms of the size that, like we could go to Walgreens this week and we could get General Mills cereal for $1.38 at Walgreens. But this is almost two thirds larger than the Walgreens price. So you're paying about you know, 50 cents more than the Walgreens box, but you're coming out with a lot more cereal. So don't, you gotta compare apples to apples basically. They're both great deals. Um, but don't look past those big boxes when they are buy one, get one too. Uh, and sorry, I missed some questions there. They go by so fast on my phone. Do I shop Food Lion? Lisa, very, very rarely. We do cover Food Lion on Southern Savers, um, but just to kind of pop back here for a second, Food Lion does not have super great promotions. Um, they have some decent prices on some things, but not a lot of great discounts to grab, so they are not my go-to store. I tend to shop Publix. I used to shop Bilo, but we don't have them anymore. Uh, and I shop CVS or Walgreens. So those are my go-to stores. Um, and then, um, sorry, to turn back around there, and I saw someone else's question, uh, will Lexington Publix take Kroger coupons? Yes, they will, Carrie. They will definitely take Kroger. I've used them on a regular basis. Most stores will save five miles um, radius for their competitor coupons. Um, but a lot of times, if they feel like it's still in a drivable distance for you, they'll still accept them. Um, so Chobani Coffee, buy one, get one. This is a fun, unexpected deal for me, and I hope you guys find this too. But Chobani Coffee is buy one, get one. $4 is the buy one, get one full price, so $2 a piece. And in my store, there was a $1.50 um, you know, dispenser coupon right there. So 50 cents for Chobani cold brew coffee. Uh, and again, you can, you know, my little, we're going keto. Oh. Uh, with our going keto, we don't need sugar or dairy, but there is a sweet version too. There's a sweet cream cold brew. So for everybody else that just wants to do the yummy version, go that route. But 50 cents for that container. Um, it's a 32 ounce container, which is pretty sweet. And hopefully you will find that in-store uh, dispenser as well right there next to it. Uh, now, let me just back up here. We've got a whole little section, even the pecans. This is your week for baking goods. Um, we get a little tiny baking goods bubble around Easter. So please do not miss that your baking good deals is a long stretch. We'll get another little bubble of baking items around July and July 4th. But beyond that, you're gonna have to wait all the way to Thanksgiving. So this week, King Arthur is $3 a bag, which is a, a decent price but we also have an Ibotta offer for $1.50 off two, so pair in that Ibotta. Carnation evaporated milk is buy one, get one. It makes it about um, 60 cents a can, um, which if you use this, that's a decent price. We don't usually see sales at all, except around the holidays. Uh, and Nestle Toll House morsels, we've got a lot in our pile. All buy one, get one as well. There are no coupons for Toll House morsels. We rarely, I, I don't even remember, it's been years since we've had any but take them at the buy one, get one price. It definitely is better than, you know, even the little 250 sales we'll see from time to time. This is your better deal. So stack up. We grabbed five bags, I think. Yeah, um, and my kids are totally like, when can we bake already as soon as they saw it all come home. Pillsbury pie crusts are buy one, get one. We also have a $1 off three Pillsbury refrigerated baking goods. And that's a digital Publix coupon. It does apply to these. So in my store, these were buy one, get one at $3.19. Um, so you're basically, you know, $1.60 uh, before the coupon and a dollar, fast math, $1.27 after the coupon a piece if you want to use it for that. Now, Pillsbury cookies and brownies, the, the place and bakes are also buy one, get one. So you might be a little tempted to use your $1 off three refrigerated digital coupon um, for those, but they, these will work if you just want to go baking supplies. 
and pecans um, are $7.99 a pound. It's about $2 off of the regular price for pecans, um, but these are whole, or sorry, these are whole halves, which in, in terms of getting pecans, these are actually usually more expensive than the pieces, obviously. It's harder to get the halves and make them look pretty. So it's a good time to stock up if you plan on doing any baking at all during the summer, uh, because you know all of these we won't see again for a while. So it's your baking week. There's some other baking deals too. This is just what we ended up grabbing. Oh, and I guess in that mix, let me mention these. I found these on clearance in my store. I'm gonna guess that you'll find them as well. This is in the honey section and it's just one particular type of honey. Um, these are eight ounce honeys and they were $1.50 in my store, which is crazy cheap for honey. Uh, it does not have berries in it. It is honey that is from, you know, that the pollen is from berry bushes. So kind of an interesting type of honey, never tried it, but I will definitely grab honey at that price because honey is kind of expensive. Um, now, one other kind of on the baking aisle, kind of on the breakfast aisle, Crusty's is buy one get one this week and there's actually an Ibotta offer for 50 cents off of one box. You can use that five times. So go, you know, waffles, pancakes on the sale. These are $1.40, just that's the half price. And then you're getting 50 cents off. So it makes each of these big boxes of pancake and waffle mix uh, 90 cents a piece. So that's a fun one pairing in that I bought a, oh good, Gabby says she got that same honey at her Publix about a week ago. So, uh, so hopefully some of you guys will find it in your area too. Um, but it is a, a great price for honey. Uh, now, one for the kids maybe, or for you, Cracker Barrel, Velveeta, and Kraft Deluxe. Um, fancy mac and cheeses, if we go that route, are all buy one, get one right now. Uh, and with the buy one, get one sale, specifically on Cracker Barrel, we have $1.25 Ibotta offers. So after the sale and after the Ibotta offer, you're gonna pay about a dollar for each of these. It's a pretty good price. Their regular price is over like $4.15. Um, so enjoy the $1.25 coupon and the buy one, get one sale together. Um, so that's an Ibotta offer and each of those, so the ones in the bags right there and the ones in the box, you have a limit of five. Oh goodness, guys, sorry, I've been holding it. Um, you have a limit of five on each of them. And in a sense, you could literally come home with five bags and five boxes and be set for mac and cheese forever, um, or that's how it would feel. So with the Cracker Barrel, um, you know, stock up if you want to, or just get a couple. In my store, they still had a tag up that said limit two per person on these items. So if you really wanted to stock up in, the, in your store and you saw that tag, you know, you do need to be mindful of that if your store is still limiting items and our store was. So we did just stick with two on each one of them, you know, not trying to work and, or break any, any rules that the store might be running, um, but a great price. And, you know, maybe it'll be still in my Ibotta account and I can get some more the next time. We'll just have to see whether or not it comes back. But $1 for each of these is a great price for them. Um, a couple more. Uh, Eckrich Smoked Sausage is buy one, get one this week. No coupons, but it's pretty sweet to see sausage buy one, get one price. It makes them about $1.50 a piece uh, and an easy one to go. Uh, oh, Carrie, you're right. My kids won't mind an influx of mac and cheese either. Uh, mac and cheese can always be on the menu here. Uh, this is also a great week to buy candy. So Snickers and Mars products, you'll also find Dove products are buy one, get one. Uh, and we've got coupons. We have coupons for all Mars confectionery. So don't forget what Mars makes, which is Dove and all of these brands right here. This bag is buy one, get one at $3.79 a piece. So with the sale, um, that's basically a dollar, oh goodness, um, I guess a dollar 80 a piece in the end. Um, and so you've got a dollar 50 coupon to pair, or sorry, not, you have a $1 coupon or a $1 off two coupon. Um, so if you use the $1 off two, you're gonna pay basically $1.30. If you use your $1, depending on what area you're in, then you have these crazy cheap. So check your inserts and see what you have for that. Um, some areas have $1. Mine, I had a dollar off two. I'm still very content with that. So hopefully you'll have a good price too to grab Mars products at a decent price. And I will say it actually makes for the cheapest price on Mars products around town. So if you're looking for Easter candy, this is your cheapest deal, using that dollar off two with the Publix buy one, get one. Okay, let's talk about both of these together. Mrs. Paul's, Alexia, uh, Alexa, however we wanna say that, I'm gonna make the thing in the kitchen pick up. Um, there's a number of other brands, they're all buy one, get one this week, and the big thing to grab here 
is a mail-in rebate or an online rebate for them. So uh, when you buy $30 worth of these products, you are gonna get a $10 Publix gift card back. Uh, they do count the sale in, so the fact that they're buy one, get one, you can't, you, know, you need to buy $30 after the sale, but this is a great week to finish off that um, gift card offer, and it actually expires on March 31st, so don't, you know, don't shop too late for this one, but Mrs. Paul's, Alexia, uh, Bird's Eye, they're all buy one, get one, so just enjoy the sale and that mail-in rebate for another 10 bucks back on those brands is sweet. Also, that is a continuing rebate. So for us, we've already submitted receipts or have receipts for um, probably about $15 worth. And this is enough to get us over that edge. So, um, you know, you don't have to do it all in one purchase, but if you haven't even started it, um, then this is the week to start and finish it and get that rebate back for another $10 back on, on what you purchased. And last but not least, because I just left it right here in the front, Lala Smoothies. This was an, an unadvertised, I wasn't expecting it, but my teenagers love these things. Um, this is their breakfast, basically. Uh, and they are $2.50 this week. Their regular price is $4.50, so it's pretty decent savings. Uh, and we've got 55 cent printable coupons. Um, I did not have the printable with me. I was not expecting it, so that does happen. Uh, and if that's the case for you and you um, don't have the coupon, you've got a couple options. You could obviously, now you know about it, so hopefully you'll print it before you go. But in, if you are in my situation, you go in, you don't have the coupon, you could either wait and get it later, or what I usually do is just ask permission and say, hey, I don't have a coupon for that. Can I bring it in the next time I come? They'll always say yes. Uh, and then you just bring your receipt in with the coupon. Super, super easy. It would be just like you forgot to use a coupon and you went to customer service and they fix it for you right there. Same exact thing, just a day or two later. So if you don't, if you're ever in the store and you find a deal and you don't have the coupon for it, I usually grab it um, and then I get it the next time or I bring the coupon in the next time. So this is everything we just went through. If you jumped on late, you can watch. As soon as we finish, you can go back and watch and see. I saw someone ask, where are all the coupons? Most of the coupons today, honestly, are Ibotta offers. There's a digital on the Pillsbury Pie Crust. There's a digital on the General Mills. There's an in, uh, in-store dispenser on that Chobani. But a lot are Ibotta offers that we used um, and then some insert coupons as well. So if you head to southernsavers.com, slash Publix, you will see the full list of deals this week along with all the coupons um, to use on those items. So super easy. You can make your shopping list and head to the store. That's my goal. Um, and, and Carrie's chiming in that she's also gone back and used a coupon. Publix is really, really great about that, guys. So if you've never been brave enough to come back in with a coupon, just trust me on this one. They will definitely let you use that if you've forgotten to use it. Uh, okay, so that's everything that I had. It's not everything that we bought. Um, we definitely grabbed some other deals, but I just wanted to hit some of the highlights. I wanted to really emphasize your baking goods. They, they have ham on sale already. Um, from the other ads I've seen, most stores are not running their Easter ad yet. They're gonna run a new ad next week, which is kind of last minute and late in my mind. Um, so I'm proud of Publix for jumping in with a long Easter ad and going ahead and giving us all the deals that we could grab. So all these deals that I've mentioned, and I'll turn the camera back around just so you can see them again, uh, they are gonna run through Saturday before Easter. This is a 10-day Publix ad, so we've got lots of time to grab them. If you wanna do that mail-in rebate, though, the mail-in rebate you're gonna want to do uh, bef on or before March 31st. That's the only little bit that you have to purchase right away. Everything else is gonna be good for a while. So hopefully this helps you guys get out there, go shopping. Um, oh, I'm trying to turn the camera around. There we go. Get out there, go shopping, and get your deals before next week. We are gonna have a whole nother set of inserts too this coming weekend that might even make for better deals. I have to get those matched in here in a second. Um, but we do already have the full list of the insert preview up, so you could go over and get a glimpse of that if you wanted. It went up just a few minutes ago on um, Southern Saver. So I hope you guys have a great night, uh, and hopefully this helps you get some great deals in Publix this week. Thanks for watching.